Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Zach, and welcome back to a brand new Red Dead Online video. Before we get started doing this bounty, I literally just finished it, and I could say this fourth time of me doing it, the other three times I've had a challenge doing it with a repeater. I was going, you know, in basically through the main entrance to take down Barbarella Alcazar, the five star bounty, so the hardest difficulty of this legendary bounty for the week. And I was having a little bit of trouble. I was taking maybe like five, six, seven, eight tonics. And I was like, this is just unsustainable, right? I was making a bolt action rifle video for you guys, and that will still be going up at some point on the channel. I was originally trying to get gameplay for that, and I figured, you know, use the bolt action rifle and show you guys gameplay with that for the bounty for that specific video. But now I'm just turning this into my strategy for the tier five legendary bounty, because now I've done it another two times in addition, and it is just like foolproof. It is amazing. Definitely follow what I'm doing in this video. It's a live commentary. You guys will love it. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. I only took two tonics that whole game. I toniced up right at the beginning, and then I also took one just because some guy lasered me with a bolt action. I wanted to just ensure I didn't die because I went down to basically about a third health, and I just wanted to be safe. But two tonics for running this whole mission and making $112 is not bad at all. It's much better than chugging like 10 tonics and trying to take people out with the repeaters. Use the bolt action rifle. It is so good. I cannot stress that enough. I will have the bolt action rifle video out later on the channel for you guys but hopefully you enjoy this is my strategy for doing the tier 5 five star legendary bounty solo here in red dead online absolutely no help it is amazing let me know if you guys completed this bounty down in the comments i would love to know if you guys have a certain strategy share it with other people having trouble because there are still people having trouble with this and you know it's definitely manageable if you follow these tips let me know if you guys want to see like certain challenges with this tier 5 legendary bounty i'm having a great time with it it's not the best way to make money xp or gold but it is very fun and it's just different in red dead online this is the type of thing where i could see red dead online is heading in the right direction so i hope you guys enjoy and let's get on with the video we're gonna see how this bolt action rifle can perform because i was doing this with the lencaster peter and the Lichfield repeater. Now, mind you, <laughs> this, like, the tier five, the five star legendary bounty, even the four, is like, it's quite a challenge. It really is. Like, it's hard. It's, you're either, you gotta have the right ability card set up and kind of play in a certain way, like, go around on the cliff side and take the bounties out from that way and kind of keep taking cover by the cliff. If you run in the front door, basically, and go guns blazing, you could do it as well. That's exactly how I've done it two out of the three times I've done it solo. But I just slug like eight potent health cures. <laughs> and it's just, you know, it's fine if you do that. Like, it's definitely manageable, but why waste that many tonics when you don't have to? So I think we're going to try and play this a little bit of a different way. We're going to need to, actually, especially if we're doing this with the bolt action rifle, just to show you guys here. So we're going to need to play in a certain way, and we need to pull up the jail wagon. So I think what we're going to do is head up here to. Wait, actually. Oh, no, I am going in the back way. No, I'm not. Never mind. That's a lie. I'm going to go back here because we're going to get the jail wagon. We're going to pull it up here. I think this is the way we want to go. Like, if we're going to actually do this bounty, we got to go this way because Alcazar is going to run into the cave. And so it's not really a big deal for us. But I'm actually, I'm calling the bounty wagon right now. We need it. The problem is th these NPCs, they shoot your bounty wagon too. They keep killing the horses. And that gave me a huge trouble the first time I did this solo. Um... <laughs> They killed my horse, and everyone escaped. Like, they all just came out of the wagon. They all escaped. They didn't escape, but they all came out of the wagon and stood there, and then I was into a gunfight with, like, a bunch of people, and I'm about to just... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait, no, we don't... Well, actually, we could go this way. I think we're gonna do this. We're gonna go back here. All right, and here we go. We're gonna we're gonna do this, I think. We're gonna try it out. We're gonna see exactly how we could do this with the bolt action. I really just wanna show you how this bolt action works in combat, and what better mission to do than when enemies are kind of a little bit more tanky, because they definitely are on a tier five difficulty, or a five star difficulty. I keep saying the wrong thing. Um, and so yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna take this guy out. Now see, you can see Alcazar is literally down here. She's, I think, Oh, wait, no, this is literally the bounty right here. <laughs> so what I'm going to do... I'm going to go with that. Oh, they know I'm here. Okay. Oh, shoot. That's not what I want. Okay, a bounty's fleeing. Yeah, <laughs> so it's, it's already... The party has started, ladies and gentlemen. We gotta find the snipers. That's the biggest thing is these snipers take off so much of your health. It's honestly insane. And this is why I think you need paint it black as well just to mark these targets in the right sense.
We also need to take cover. I see this is why it's I found the missions a challenge because I don't take cover with these missions. I want to go in guns blazing, and that is the thing. You you can't do that. You just can't do that on a mission like this. You really got to take your time. You got to understand what the enemies do, how they act, because they do act differently on this mission than they do in any of the other games you'll play in Red Dead as well. But taking cover, I think, if you pace yourself, you don't try and rush things, you can do just fine. So that is exactly what we're doing here. We're just making sure. There we go. The bolt action also helps so much for this mission. I think I'm not going to run the repeaters anymore when I do this. I'm just going to do the bolt because this is helping me out a lot better. <laughs> like, maybe if you want to go through that front door and run in guns blazing, you can. But, no. Nah. Okay, let's see. He just kind of went down. There we go. See, it's a two shot. The Litchfield is a four shot, even with Express, which is so surprising. I don't know what I just took damage on, but I just got absolutely lasered. So we're going to take another health cure. I just lost all my health in one go. Um, so that's... Those are two tonics down, two two of the health. I used one, and I just used a second. Just to make sure we're good to go. I want to put this guy in the wagon just so we can take care of him. The good thing about these missions as well is that these targets don't actually try and run from you. Oh, crap. He's up there. Oh, what am I doing? I need to go over here. Come on, buddy. I'm coming to bring you to justice. You're coming with me. And I'm getting lasered again. This is going to kill me. This is going to kill me if I'm not careful. Ah! Oh, ah! The bullets, they're too much. Too much damage. Okay, let's not have that happen again. These guys may shoot me over here. Oh, I just dropped the bounty too. Alcazar has almost escaped. Okay, well, we're just going to leave you right here. We got to go for Alcazar. We got to go in a different way. We got to shoot these guys because we need to lasso her at least. I think that's what... I don't know if it's a time thing that you need to lasso her in amount of time. I've gotten that alert before, and I don't know if it's actually meaned anything or if the game just tells you that so you like rush and then you end up dying. <laughs> I feel like that's kind of what Rockstar is going for with something like this. But I want to get that guy in the wagon itself. And we just got to watch out for these sharpshooters, man. These these guys are deadly. Those are the guys who take down your health. You don't really have to worry about the other NPCs. But those people right there, they have bolt actions. And the bolt actions are strong in this mode. Okay, we're losing them. We're losing them, I think. I No. Okay, no. <laughs> the second I pick... Oh, no. They are actually escaping. Oh, crap. Hold on. They're getting out of here. Okay, wait a second. This didn't happen last time. Uh-oh. No, I just gotta move closer, I think. Or something. But let's go for this guy first. Alcazar's actually on a horse. She's out of here, right? No, she's no, she's in that building. Okay, no, what am, what am I worrying about? I'm getting paranoid, dude. I'm playing it a different way, and I'm not used to it. Before, it was no problem to capture all three of these guys in hog time. The issue was getting them in the wagon was my issue last time. This time, it's like I just thought they were actually going to escape since I'm, you know, playing it in a different way. I was kind of nervous about what I was doing. Um, but they all kind of stay in the same spot, which is nice. So what I'm going to do is... we got to watch out for these guys. I'm. This is such a bad thing that I'm doing. See how I'm, like, literally out in the open right now? This is so dumb of me to do. But we're doing it anyway. We're doing it live. Boom. Let's see. Okay, got him. Let's keep it moving. But you can see what this bolt action rifle is doing. It's doing such a great job with everything. Boom. Tackle him. You could try it. Um, I would probably just use the bolus and get this guy. He's hogtied. And now we're going to go for the other guys. So they're all set we got to get Alcazar but what we also need to do is watch out for literally every single other enemy on the map right here we still have a bunch left and we can get Alcazar that'll be fine I think if you run in the front door when I mean the front door I mean like literally that main entrance that you could ride the horse up to that the game tells you to do um, she'll be kind of near the cave already and she'll run into the cave but if you go in this way which I kind of like she's back here and you could take cover behind these objects as you kind of go for these people. Oh, this is a three shot. Okay. We're good. Just kind of bob and weave. Good. We could probably just get this guy without. Nope. Oh, I got the hit marker. 
I'm gonna move this way too. My weapon, see, it's getting super dirty already. I'm already in like the the second notch of the cleanliness of the weapon. So it's becoming a little bit weaker. Oh my god, was that really a one shot? No way. See, now we're in the thick of it. There's also some enemies up here. Oh, see, this guy's gonna laser me. Oh, he just. What the heck? We gotta go for Alcazar. But I do want to loot these bodies as well. Tootin' lootin' cowboy shooting. I think that's better. Can I can I get that? There we go. What? Okay, I'll just I'll just dome him instead. This guy, somehow I missed. Hold up. Is this a good idea? Do I try and loot these guys literally out in the open? I love this level, guys. I don't know about you. I have so much fun when I play this. This to me is a real challenge. Like, it's not impossible to do solo. This is actually way easier than my first couple attempts doing this. Coming in this way and trying to take everyone out, there's just too much going on. This is, I think, it's a lot more manageable and it's a lot more fun. And in my opinion, this is the type of thing we need a lot more in Red Dead. So I'm super excited for all of these other legendary bounties that are coming into the game. Because then you can fly through the first couple tiers and when you get to tier 4 and tier 5, it's going to be a lot harder as well. So I think we just cleared everyone out. And... You're pretty much good to go. Now we just need to bring everyone back to the jail wagon. If these people actually, like, ran away and got on horses and stuff, this would be impossible to do solo. But the fact that they kind of just stay here and don't break, it, break out of your hog ties either, that's pretty nice. So I think that's the last guard for Alcazar here. So we're going to run in. And we just got to be careful because she puts a lot of damage on you if you're not, if you're not super careful. So let's just run in. Boom. See, like, she's got the repeater. But imagine if she had a shotgun or something. Oh gosh. Wait. What? Dismiss. I'm going to empty this into your bones. Yeah, get on the ground. <laughs> You're not going to empty anything into my bones. Did she say bones or balls? I, I have no idea. But nonetheless, now we're running her back to the jail wagon. I should just bring the wagon over here. But mm, I think we'll just run them back. That just killed her. I don't know what just happened, but I just killed Alcazar. I literally just dropped her on the ground and she died. Oh, good lord, dude. That was dumb. I shouldn't have done that. I was waiting, because last time when you put someone in the wagon itself, then more enemies start to come after you. And so that would have been impossible to kind of like have to bring these guys back. But now I'm afraid to drop this guy, because I literally just killed Alcazar by throwing her. Oh, God. For being a ruthless, merciless outlaw... She died pretty quickly just by getting thrown off of my shoulder. I mean, dang, man. So now, now I'm nervous to drop this guy. But I wanted to bring the other guy closer before I put them in the jail wagon. So I could just throw them all in. And then we could get the heck out of here, right? Like, I'm not looking to hang around here. Because then a bunch of enemies are going to swarm. Please don't die. Okay, thank God he didn't die. We're all good. We're all good. Now we got to get this last dude over here that we hogtied. Come on, buddy. Let's bring you to jail. I'm losing stamina here. I got to slow down. My guy is finally out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> He's been fireman carrying three people up a mountain essentially while also getting shot at and all of the above Okay, here we go. Now. We have enemies sneaking up on us. We have people. This is where this is where it gets to become a challenge We got to throw all these people once you bring that third enemy back people swarm you and this is where I'm gonna have a chance at dying I'm, all, I'm almost positive because my horse is gonna get shot these guys are essentially gonna escape again And then there's just like no chance that I'm gonna complete this bounty so Let's, uh, let's, let's really try and do this here. We're gonna really make a stand. Essentially, you, what I would recommend is trying to take everyone out here. I wouldn't recommend trying to escape with the wagon. Because then your horse is just gonna get shot. And that same thing is gonna happen. I'm pretty sure. So, okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Where are the other enemies? There's a few more around here. Yep, here we go. Oh, see, he just shot the horse. That, that happens. That happens. You're gonna get on the ground. We just gotta tie them up. They don't really move anyway, but this is exactly what happens. You <laughs> you try and put them in the wagon, the NPCs always shoot your horse. And then you're done. I was supposed to swap to a shotgun. Oh god, I got- oh no! Okay. We got a few more enemies. a few more but we should be good 
I have good feelings about this, homies. I have good feelings about this. I think... What do we have? Uh, is that it? I think that's it. Yep. That seems to be it. All the enemy... Oh, no. One's running. Oh, my God. Wait a second. Hold on. Come back. This is a first. Stu's making a move. Let's throw it. Let's... Oh, I got him. That's perfect. That's beautiful. Get over here, son. We're gonna hog tie you. We gotta bring you back. Now, unfortunately, what we're gonna need to do is call another bounty wagon. <laughs> because our other one just totally got destroyed. So we gotta call this next one. This is going to... F oh, he's gonna chill over there. Okay, it looks like this is how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna need to go down here, get this thing, run back. And get these guys. I hope that other second guy doesn't escape. That would be insanely unfortunate. And that would suck because we've now spent about 20 minutes doing this. If you try and rush it in 10 minutes, you're going to have a hard time. That's what I was doing with the repeaters. And it is, it's not worth it. It's just a tonic fest and things like that. But taking it at my own pace this time, I think it's pretty good. I, I really enjoy this mission. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I love it. I love this mission. I think this is exactly what Red Dead Online needs. More of like a... This isn't really a raid. I think a raid would be like eight of these rooms in one single mission. And then you get huge unlocks at the end. Maybe make like a thousand dollars or something like that. But this is more of like a dungeon from an MMO, right? Or just like one of those type of hard missions you would do. And I'm definitely enjoying this type of vibe for Red Dead. This is what the game needed, I think. And I'm excited for the other legendary bounties that we're going to have soon. So... Let's just go right here. We gotta chuck these homies in the wagon. Alcazar is dead, unfortunately, so we don't need to worry about her. But we can pick this guy up just in case he tries to escape. I can't believe she died, man. All I did was throw her and she died, dude. I was not paying attention. I was just gonna set her down. But, no. I, I held this, the button and I threw her over my shoulder. She hit her head on a rock. And now she's deceased. Got them all in the wagon. And to Tumbleweed we go, ladies and gentlemen. And as you can see, Tumbleweed is just right over there. But I think we could sneak up the back way and get up. I, I'm i going to give it a shot. See if we can make it. I feel like it's going to happen again. I'm going to flip this wagon. Something's going to happen. And all these guys are going to come running out. Nope, you can actually make it up the back way. Okay, that's cool. Nice little shortcut you could do. I spent long enough, long enough on the mission, so I'm going to get a good payout. I'm just going to hand this guy in for you guys. Or these... These people, what a gang, right? Now they're all done. They were taken down by a solo player. Crazy stuff. So let's just throw the wagon in right there. And there we go. I just want to see the rewards as well because this did take me longer than last time. So if I hand this in, unfortunately Alcazar died, which is we needed her to survive. But oh well, beggars can't be choosers, right? We tried. We gave it a fair shake. I think we did. Okay, Freeman, thank you so much. Let's see what the payout is, ladies and gentlemen. What is it going to be, like $110, $108? I think I got $108 last time um, with one of the people who died. So let's see if we could do it this time. It's all time-based with their games, but is it going to give us the payout? There we go, $112, so four extra dollars. Still 40 nuggets. I made 36 last time and 1,125 XP. So when you guys do this with a group or solo, you're going to make between $100 and like $120, I'd imagine. If you drag out the timer, set a timer on your phone for like a half hour, and then when that timer goes off, you can make the most money. It's the same thing with story missions and online too. You can get the max payout. You make 40 nuggets, and you also get 1,125 XP. So it's decent for money just by the mission itself but it's definitely this isn't like the way to make money for a half hour of your time you could be filling up your trader business you could be doing other missions and make a lot more xp it's definitely not the best for any of those things the nuggets as well on the hunt stranger missions give you 36 nuggets literally for like about five minutes of your time <laughs> um if you do them because at the literally at the 15 minute mark on the timer you're making 36 nuggets 10 minute mark you're making 40 five minute mark on on the hunt and recovery missions that are 20 minutes long you're making 44 nuggets that's the archaic way of handling handling this game now but it also is fun content i would highly recommend it we did it solo drop a like if you guys enjoyed subscribe to the channel if you guys are new let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see any more live commentaries like this if you guys have done it solo let me know your strategy if other people in the comments are having trouble help them out i'm going to be talking to people as well you guys can follow me on twitch.tv slash hazardous hdtv if you guys want to catch a live stream later on tonight I really enjoyed this. I want to do more Let's Play style videos here on the channel. Just do different types of stuff. And I can't wait for these other bounties. If you guys want to see a different challenge, maybe I could do the next tier 5 bounty. The 5 star bounty like fists only or only using throwing knives or 
you know tomahawks or just lasso only literally try and hog tie people i feel like that would be the biggest challenge maybe even do it like a a flawless run and just try and get the bounties themselves and go for like a no kill challenge i feel like that would be almost impossible i would have to just slug tonics but you could probably do it you could probably do it and then my horse would get killed but nonetheless thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next red dead online video adios amigos